With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students. Here question is so bad. Tangent at extremities of any focal chord of parabola intersect at right angles at the directrix. Okay. So suppose this is our parabola y squared is equal to 4x and here I am going to draw a directrix because in this question term directrix has been used. Okay. And now what I am going to do, I am going to take two points which are end points of focal cord. The first is PC1. Okay. And second is QC2. And this both are end point of focal cord. This both are end point of focal cord. So this is our focus a comma zero through which this chord is passing. Now what I'm going to do if I'm going to write one concept, concept is we all have a studied if T1 and T2 are okay end point of extremities of focal cord then T1 into T2 is equal to minus 1. This is first concept. And second concept, this was for end of focal cord. And the second concept, this is concept first. And next is concept second. Okay. And second concept is slope of tangent at pt point is 1 upon t. So here slope okay now okay slope of tangent at pt1 is equal to 1 upon t1 and similarly slope of tangent at q t2 is equal to 1 upon t2. So this is our point pt1 and this is our point q t2. Okay. So if we'll draw tangent over here and tangent over here. So this we have to prove that both intersect at directrix. So let us assume that this both intersect at directrix. Later on we will prove this. Okay. So suppose both intersect at some point. This. And this is saying both intersect at right angle. Suppose this is 90 degree. Then product of slope will be minus 1. So product of slope. product of slope will be over here 1 upon t1 t2 t1 t2 okay and here we know that t1 t2 is minus 1 so this will become minus 1 so this is 90 degree this is correct now we need to prove that this point p suppose not this is p this is a okay this intersect on directrix which means that an equation of directrix for parabola y square is equal to 4ax is x is equal to minus a. So we have to find x coordinate of this point a. If x coordinate of this point a is minus a, nothing to do with y coordinate, then we can say that this point a lies on this directrix. Okay. Can you remove the full call? Let's add the directrix. Okay. Now here at t1, I am going to write pt1 equation of tangent. An equation of tangent will be t1y is equal to x plus a t1 squared. And at qt2, tangent equation will be t2y is equal to x plus a t2 square. 
we need to find x coordinate so here i am going to multiply this with c2 and i will multiply this with c1 so what will get when you will multiply with c2 will get c1 c2y is equals to c2x plus a c1 squared c2 and you get c1 c2 y is equals to c1x plus a c1 c2 squared and what i will do i will subtract both to get x coordinate so this will get cancel out and here this will become c2 minus c1 times x is equals to here i will take it c1 t2 common okay so this will become c1 minus c2 and here c2 minus c1 will cancel c1 minus c2 in minus 1 times so from here what we'll get i'm going to write this over here which is x is equals to minus a okay so if i am subtracting this we get c2 minus c1 okay and this will become minus times okay so here there will be plus sign between both okay so there will be x times this is plus and this is equals to zero so here this will become minus x because c2 minus c1 okay and c1 minus c2 and there is equals to sign so when i will cancel both there will be minus sign so from here we will get i will take minus x that side so we'll get minus x is equals to or x is equals to minus x will go that side this minus x will go in rhs to give x is equals to 8 c1 t2 c1 t2 and here c1 t2 is minus 1 so from here we we'll get x coordinate of the point of intersection of both that both tangent is minus 4 and here you can see that so the x coordinate of a is minus a comma there is there will be some y coordinate it means that lies on lies on line x is equals to minus 4 which is directed so this is true thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today